I don't have a whole lot to say today. I'm having to do the vlog again at the school. Um, excuse me. Uh, everybody in my family, or almost everybody, has been ill, and I guess now it's my turn. I, I, uh, on the way here, I basically threw up everything I'd eaten about um, 30 minutes before. Um, it's not good. I don't have a whole lot to say. Let me get a sip of water real quick. I did vote. Um, I had to go to Walmart and uh, get some chicken and fixings, fixings for supper for everybody, and that was right before the polls closed. But I did get there. I did vote. Um, I voted no on Proposition 820. I um, have been vocal about my opposition to it. I had a few friends unfriend me over it on Facebook, and one longtime friend scold me in private chat. And she also called, called a lot of other people that were supposed to be Christians hypocrites. No, I'm not a hypocrite. I don't use marijuana, and I don't drink alcohol, period. I just don't. I don't use tobacco. Don't do any of that. Um, I kind of lay everything out there so it's an open book for people when they uh, they want to uh, know anything about me. And uh, anyway. Over 61%, like 61.45%, little less than 62% of the voting population in Oklahoma, all 77 counties shot down recreational marijuana. Um, supposedly 10% of the population of Oklahoma uses medical marijuana. Um, the last thing I would want are a bunch of stoners out driving on the roads. We have that anyway, but if you don't know that it or don't believe that the numbers would go up exponentially, then you're sadly mistaken. <clears throat> Just a second. I have a friend, Danny Cooper, that's the police chief here in Davis. And the reason I'm alluding to this, um, it goes with what I'm saying. One time in the Navigator with Linda driving, I very stupidly went around the gates after they came down for an approaching train right in front of Danny Cooper. He stopped me and said, you know, have you ever worked where a train's hit a car? Actually, I, and I told him, yes, I have several times. Well, I have too, and I don't ever want to see it again. And I apologized profusely to him. It was a stupid thing I did, and I deserve to be chewed out. I'll own up to my bad stupidities. But the reason I'm pointing that out, I've also seen the aftermath of someone so stoned on marijuana that they can't concentrate and they plowed into someone. One case in particular was in Jefferson County when I was a deputy sheriff there. And I saw a family of five get, well, I didn't see, what, see it as it happened, but... The aftermath, a family of five got hit by a semi that the driver was stoned out of his mind on some really potent marijuana. And it killed everyone in that station wagon. 
um, including two very small children. That's what I'm saying. I know from firsthand experience how bad the situation can be. You can't rely on someone to just stay home and, and uh, smoke their pot, zone out, and go to bed. It doesn't work that way. I have addicts in my family. I understand the situation. Addiction is not a disease. It's a personal choice that can be reversed. I have people, oh, you don't know. Yes, I know exactly what I'm talking about. And academically, I'm qualified to make that statement. Um, I've heard every excuse in the book for intoxicated driving whether it's drugs, alcohol, or whatever. And it doesn't wash, folks. It just doesn't. You know, people are going to have self-destructive uh, habits and behavior. It's like my wife and I dining at, at a pizza hut and a little girl that waited on us was very sweet had a nose ring in both nostrils and had big old plugs the size of quarters in her ears and these people think that's just so cool and they never think about later in life the problem is they've destroyed a portion of their body with those ear plugs and nose rings are not pretty by any stretch of the imagination. And I have people that I love dearly that have all the, all the above. It's, um, it's not going to get any better. I really thought that my no vote yesterday was an act of futility, but I was going to do it anyway. And I thanked God last night when I found out the measure failed, and it failed by a lot, by a majority. <clears throat> the pro-pot crowd, the pro-marijuana crowd, they're going to regroup and try it again. They're going to bring it up. They just have to have a politician uh, sponsor the bill. And it's like uh, Will Rogers said, we have the best politicians money can buy. Well, I'm feeling pretty ill right now, so I'm going to get off of here and uh, I'll upload this when I get back to the house. I not going to make church tonight. I already informed my pastor. Uh, I'm feeling worse by the minute, actually. Uh, I will get the kids and I will make it home. And then uh, I'm going in the house and putting on pajamas, literally, and doing a whole lot of nothing the rest of the evening. Maybe sip some hot herbal tea or something. It, uh, You know, my friend Jose yesterday, I'm going to talk about him for a minute. He and I had a good conversation. Uh, I was out driving my van. I do that. I try to do it every day. Today it's not going to happen. I'm just not up for it. But I would make the rounds. And while I was uh, making said rounds, um, my youngest adopted son, Matt, and my friend Chad got Matt's donkey, Elliot, and they got a halter on him, and they led and followed, I should say. The donkey was pulling them pretty hard all the way over across Honey Creek to an area by Matt's mobile that he lives in, his RV. and. They built a little fence over there for him. And uh, then 
I uh, had to wait for my son Chris. I, I went back over there. Excuse me, Matt asked me if I would give Jose a ride home, and of course I will, but I went back uh, around to where um, Lodge 7 and the 12 cabins are, and, and on that road, Jose couldn't get his mower to go so he could put it up, and so... Uh, Chris, my youngest son, came over and got it running shortly, and Jose put it up, and as we were leaving, he and I had a conversation, but one of the things he he said, uh, local weather, amigo, and I said, yes, it is. Very bad, bad, crazy weather. This is get sick weather, and I'm thinking maybe that's part of what's going on with me is the up and down fluctuation but like I told Brother Fry you know everybody in my family's had it so I guess now it's my turn well I've got to get off of here I love all of you with my whole heart I want God to bless you and be kind bye